I know the situation and I know this, the next step is to go and tell Hoppo what's, what's happened. Had a bit of an incident on the beach and uh, had a run in with a member of the public. Over the years I've had a lot of times we've sat H down and with these issues about customer service and it's something that uh, he finds very hard to deal with. I'm hoping that this situation uh, doesn't go past Hoppo. Now listen to what he says here. I'm not happy with my, my performance there at all. You know, yeah, calling people imbecile, idiots, oh, that's no. just one thing we need to stamp out. We need to stay cool and calm and then later on you can let your steam off. But I got no excuse. Won't happen again. Yeah. H is a great lifeguard, but he's got this Achilles heel that occasionally comes back and bites him. So no matter how frustrating people can be, we need to keep this level of professionalism at all times. In retrospect, if I could do it again, I'd not give the guy a spray. Every year the council has mystery shoppers which actually come down, knock on the door, and we don't know who they are. And they try and get us to trip up and just so they can see our level of customer service. So it's extremely important that we hold our uh, service excellence up at the high standards for the council. Today, we have a mystery shopper. All the ladies, this guy is single. Need to wax. I know Rob from a few charity events that I've done with him, and he's a, a great actor, a very funny man. Yeah, that's the local Lebo gang, the Sunny Vale Assassins. Hi, bro. Take the photo, I'll explain. <laughs> Me and Harry's the only lifeguards that know that Rob, aka Steve, is really an actor, not a beachgoer. There you go, man. Love your show. Thank you. I love it. I think he'll uh, rev the guys up. He'll push their buttons. I'm hoping all the boys will pass, but I think maybe some may fall down and others may excel. He's got underwear on, mate. Hey! You can't wear underwear on the beach. Where are you from? Brazil? Brazil. Of course. <laughs> Put something in there. Look at it. Hey, see, you got to admit, bro, that was, that's ridiculous. Come, come, he's on TV, he's famous. This is KC. Australian, like, like Mel Gibson. One, two. <sighs> so I'm working away in the tower and this big dude just bowls through the door. He was a little too over the top. And I did have my suspicions that this could be the mystery shopper, so I'm going to play it pretty straight because the focus might come back on me. Hang on one second. Excuse me. Oh, yeah. I can see it. Yeah, look at it. KC won't go until they've got about three breasts left in them, yeah. and then he'll go. They're in trouble, bro. They're in trouble. I'm going to go down there. When he left the tower at speed with his whistle in his mouth. Oh, no, not good, not good, not good. I'm not quite sure what crazy stunt's going to come next. What are, you trying, what are you trying to do? I lured them that they're getting stuck in a bit of a rip. Yeah, have you met um, our friend down here straight in front um, in the blue with a blue and white towel around his neck? Tell me, you're talking about Steve. The old guy up there? Yeah. Here he comes, I'm doing your job. Here he comes, you wait till there's like three breaths left, then you go out. Yeah. Until you don't want to get wet. It can be extremely annoying if someone from the public comes and tells you how to do your job. Who's the guy on the yellow? Oh, he works at a pool, I reckon. <laughs> Sorry, man, I just like to help out. Who's this? <laughs> Is that Harry's? Hey, mate. Harry's. Hey, hey, bro. Bobby Chuck. How are you? These two here. They drifted from there to there. KC's just standing here doing nothing. Why, well, you got to wait till they drown? I just want to be a lifeguard. I said to him. This guy was doing his best to put Kalen off his job and it wasn't working. Hey, what about you throw him in the face? You can't do it. He's just scrapping you all over the place. I want to be a lifeguard. You want to be an application. You're right. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, shit. You all right? He just says he's spotted out west from Parramatta River. <laughs> he wants to be a lifeguard. <laughs> The real test is to see how H is going to go with the mystery shopper. And I blew the whistle to all these people to come in. But, mate, why are you doing this? You're a member of the public. You're not a lifeguard, mate. We have a mystery shopper today, and he's testing our patience and our customer service skills. Look at this guy walking like his buddy Dale Hasloff. Hey, you're too good looking for this area, mate. <laughs> He's too good looking. You're making me look bad, bro. All the lifeguards are quite frustrated with Steve and they've just had enough. They don't want to deal with it anymore. Hey, Cobes, why are you... Why do they sit in here and you, they sit up there? <laughs> you want to come up? Come on. Come on. Hey, Harry's. Let him sit up there, mate. It's his dream. Come and sit up here. Come on, just let him for five minutes. Everyone clap him. Everyone clap, big promotion. Where's he going? Oh, he's been took off. Time to go along the beach, I'll follow him. Hey, Cobes, where are you going? Can I come? We are getting a lot of weird and outrageous people at Bondi. Cobes! But this guy, he was just too much. I just wanted to get away from him. What a dickhead. Are you supposed to help people, mate? He's funny, he's a funny bloke, but I don't see up in the tower. You know, Quite funny. peaceful up there before, wasn't yeah. it? No, you just start cringing a bit after a while. He's whistling and he's been, like, he was saying some funny stuff, but I didn't want to be there in my uniform when it was up, you know? This is probably the most annoying guy we've ever had on Bondi Beach. What's up, man? Um, he's got his sights set on H. What's up? Like was here. Half time, we're gonna distract him. What's up? I went down there. Mm -hmm. I said to KC, that's his name, isn't it? A KFC, or his name? What's his name? Just get, get no. Just tell me what your problem is. I, I just want to hear what's going on. Well, you're getting you're on edge, bro. Relax. I'm not. And then I'm I not, said, you're wasting my time, mate. I'm I just come to point. talk to you, mate. Where are you going? Have you got to go yeah, somewhere? So go. I'm, I'm actually trying to work to. Uh... <laughs> and I blew the whistle. So all these people have come in. But, mate, why are you doing this? You're a member of the public. You're not a lifeguard, mate. Yeah, but I want to be a lifeguard. Yeah, but... Steve's, at this stage, has overstayed his welcome. No one was willing to stand up. And H, being that father figure, stood up on behalf of the team. He dealt in the way he deals with them best. Old school. OK, now, just imagine you were there doing something. Yeah. And someone came and told you how to do it, right? Mm -hmm. OK, so you don't understand. He yeah. knows what's going on. He's a professional. He's got 20 years service. He can read a situation better than you do. Well, I'm just trying to, like... I'm impressed with Hage because he, he kept his cool and it's good to see that he's actually trying and he did a very, very good job with this situation. I'm not... Are you the boss? No, I'm not the boss, mate. I'm just one of the... Well, why am I talking to you? I want to get... I'm on the beach. OK. Let's go, brother. What's wrong? All good. No, no, no. I want to talk to him. Hey, where's... H-Man's concerns were justified by getting rid of him because a couple of minutes later, four people were actually drowning. Yeah, boys, he's going to need some backup. And H is out there rescuing these girls. They're all on a body Ben's got one. It was all right, Ben, you got out to them quite quickly. We had backup from the lifesavers as well, so... A burst eardrum from screaming would probably be the worst injury on that particular incident. It's now time to introduce our mystery shopper, Steve, who is Rob, the comedian, to all the lifeguards. Well, we've got something to tell him. Rob, he's our mystery shopper today. Mystery shopper. <laughs> <laughs> It's our mystery shopper I heard about this. And you didn't want to have a bar with me, mate. Yeah. I wanted to hang out with you. You, want to... you were very persistent. Yeah. You wouldn't go away. <laughs> you want to talk to me? <laughs> you guys did all good. Straight A's for you, Cobes. Straight A's, mate. Because now I actually know what you guys go through. It's, <laughs> it's, it's a fun day, and uh, but it's a lot of uh, there's a lot of challenges out there. When I told H we had a mystery shopper, Don't go back to the red and yellow flags. He just started smiling and laughing. He couldn't get enough of it. <laughs> you bastard. Hey, yeah, mate. <laughs> Got you good. You did. 
Oh. oh, I got scared, mate. You took me in the back room. I thought you were going to smash I was going to smash you. <laughs> Good thing, Dina. I just thought, where am I going? I was going like this. I was a bit dizzy. I thought, oh, my God, this guy's like on edge. Oh, well, mate, I was going nowhere with you. No. The boys were saying they were over it and it was sort of upsetting the lads. Yeah. So... That's the thing. I, I'm like the fullback. You're know? the big daddy, eh? I like your passion, though. It was good. Oh, you had me. I'm sure you deal with a lot of characters. I see oh. that. Good work, H. Yeah, yeah. And don't turn your back on the water. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be a lifeguard. <laughs> yeah. Good work, mate. Unreal, mate. Thank, Thank you. you. Next time on Bondi Rescue. It's Australia Day. The missing person has a black dress on. A little bit concerned that the chopper's sitting still. You start to get that feeling in your pit of your stomach that maybe we've missed something. This guy has a hard drive full of trouble. What? You can't take photos like that. Probably got around 30 seconds to get to her before she'll start to go under.